Hey everyone, this is Mac here with Range Day, where every day is Range Day. Today we are going to be showing you a quick and easy tutorial on how to paint rifle mags. Painting rifle mags can be great for extra camo, to protect metal mags, and also to designate certain calibers for certain rifles. But before we get into the tutorial, let's roll that intro. First, get the mags you want to paint. I have a few Palmetto State Armory mags and CPD mags I want to paint. If your mags are loaded, I'd go ahead and unload them. The mags I'm painting today are already unloaded. If your mags have a bit of dirt on them, it's really no big deal. However, if there's a lot of dirt, the paint won't stick as well. So for this really dirty mag, I'm going to clean it off with some acetone. The acetone should only be used on metal mags. The acetone could damage plastic, so if you're painting plastic mags, you can wash those off with a little soapy water. I made sure to clean the seams of the mag really well. Next, you need to figure out how far up you need to paint on the mag. So, seat an empty mag into the firearm and draw a line with a pencil where the mag well ends on the mag. Do this on both sides and for all mags that you are painting. After that, take some masking tape and tape off above the line to keep paint off it. It's not the end of the world if you don't, but make sure you get the tape in all the grooves of the mag. Tape off the feed lip on the mag especially well so you don't get paint down in the magazine. I also taped the base plate off as well since paint could get up into the mag where the spring is. Once everything is taped off, you can grab your paint. When I paint my guns and gear, I usually do a solid base coat and then hit it with a few accent colors. Of course, you want to pick out some colors that make sense for your geographic region and climate. I went with khaki as a base coat, then some black and granite for accents. It'll give the mag a dirty concrete look. I'm matching these to one of my rifles I have painted in this fashion. First, lay the mags on a surface you don't care to get paint on, like this cardboard box with a tart behind it. Start with your base coat and paint the surface of the mags. I usually hold the can about a foot away from the mag. I don't bother to let the first side dry, I just go ahead and flip it over and keep on painting. After this, I would let it dry for about 10 minutes so the accent stencil doesn't stick to the base coat. The stencil you should use should be something that makes sense for your geographic region. I'm using some mesh from a laundry bag for some hexagonal shapes, which is good for urban environments and rocky areas. Before I add my accent paint, I use my rifle that I'm matching these mags to as a reference to make sure I match the angle of the accent stripes. Laying the stencil over the mag, paint your accent lines in quick slashes about two or three inches thick, or whatever you desire. The closer the stencil hugs the mag, the more prevalent the stencil shape will appear. The ridges of the mag are sometimes hard to paint, so just do a quick slash on those if you want. If you feel that some of the patterns are too dark, you can accent some of those with the base coat you used. Or you can add some more dark paint to lighter areas. Just whatever you're desiring and whatever you really feel looks best. After leaving the paint to dry overnight, it's time to remove the tape. This is arguably the most satisfying part of the process, peeling off that masking tape and seeing that clean line. After all the tape is removed, you'll want to test the mags out to make sure they seat well, just in case some paint got in the ridges or the seam of the mag. If some paint got on the ridges, uh, that can be easily fixed with some acetone and a brush. We hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial, and if you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions or any comments for us, leave those down in the comment section below and we will get back to you. This has been Mac with Range Day. Thanks for watching. <laughs>